High Risers, an urban survival RPG. Crafting, exploring, and defending in a desolate metropolis haunted by the mysterious dreamers. Lead a team of four survivors through this urban desert of skyscrapers and high rises, where the streets are crowded with the mutated victims of a strange disease. Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mob Impressions. Today we're going to talk about a game called High Risers. I recently just played the game, and if you guys are interested, all the footage you're seeing is taken from my Let's Play channel. So head on over there if you want to see the uncut stuff. Uh, this game was published by uh, Assemble Entertainment and developed by Solar Powered Games. Thank you for the review copy. However, all thoughts will be my own, and I want to say sorry in advance. All right, all thoughts are my own. I didn't like the game. I did not like the game, and you know, I'll, I'll let you know, I didn't play that long. I only played it for about half an hour, but half an hour was all I needed to see of this game to know that, man, I, I, I just don't recommend it. Um, there's a lot of things that are interesting with the game, and a lot of things that are just not good. So let's start with what I think is good. Um, I really like the idea of the game. You know, just being one gigantic building where you have four people and it is basically a real-time strategy where your the ultimate goal is to repair the helicopter um, so you can get out of there. And how do you do that? Well, you get all of your survivors. You can control them individually. You can sometimes have them help each other by follow them around to increase task um, speed. And you have to go pick up resources, defeat monsters, build barricades, and slowly build up all while keeping your health up and fighting hunger. There's a lot of things in the game that I really like. Had you know thought had potential. But it's just primarily bogged down by just a ton of unintuitiveness, lack of direction, lack of instructions, rather than a like one screen where it says four panels of how to basically control your character. One through four is pretty much how you you know how you focus on your characters. You you press it to focus them. You double click the number to move it towards them. To you know if you play like RTS or something like that, it focuses and moves the cameras on them. You can drag stuff from the inventory to their equipment to put it on. Like if they have a gun or if they have a weapon, you could equip it there. Uh, you could also grab some food or water to, you know, drop it on their face to eat. And you can also drop stuff on the ground. Now, as you can see here, the like the UI is extremely clunky. Everything is very, very tiny to look at. And what I really don't like is the lack of organization and the lack of, like I said, direction. It just basically says do this and then it just throws you in there which isn't a bad thing but because this game has so many different mechanics i think it was better if you take the time to have even if it's just more screens even if it's just more screens of text it would be nice to let people know hey this is how you play the game we we already told you what to do do the helicopter stuff now go do this is how you do this this is how you grow plants this is how you make, you know, this is how you craft stuff. Because it's very confusing after every character picks up stuff and you go to the crafting bench, you're wondering, okay, how do I get on there? How do I start a recipe? Well, you have to go into the crafting bench and then you have to go through all of your unlocked recipes and then you click on it and then it says the different sorts of items you need. But what it doesn't tell you is how many items of that you currently have. Now, how you collect items is you, you pick it up, you disassemble stuff, you put it in your inventory, you go back to the uh, to the level where you have your workbench and you either put it on a shelf or you drop it on the floor. And here's what it gets really annoying. Every single, like, all the, the floor and other areas are made up of, like, little squares. And that's where items can go on. They sometimes take one to two or even three spots. And it kind of reminds me of Project Zomboid, it's a, but instead of like an isometric thing, you're playing on a 2D plane. So it's very messy, there is no organization, and it's up to you to be all like, okay, I'm going to put all of the, you know, um, the wood here, I'm going to put all the, the metal here, I'm going to put all the extra, like, fluid stuff here. It, it's very annoying, and it does take up a lot of time. And sure, you're, you know, it's supposed to be like, yeah, you're one person and you control four other, you know, four characters. Maybe one person's crafting, one person's fighting and defending, one person's disassembling, one person's collecting. Man, it's, it, to get to that point, it's really clunky, it's a little annoying, and I don't like it a lot. I really, really don't 
like it. But I'm sure that this is a game where if you sat down and you played it for maybe three to five hours, it will grow on you and you will learn the small nuances. But this game is a version 1.0. This is not in early access and it currently goes for 14 US. I think there is no excuse to drop you in this game, not in early access, 14 bucks and not have a good direction. Like I said, it was the one screen with the four instructions and that's it. It doesn't teach you anything else. And for people who just want to jump in this game, it's not good. It's not good. It's single player only. Uh, I think it's only going to be on Steam because you have to use the mouse and keyboard. There's no way you are going to play this game with a controller. There is just no way with all the precise things that you have to do. There's a lot of small like bugs I've also found too. When a character wasn't able to do an action, it would have some sort of you know coded string there saying like, oh, you know, uh, local blah, 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 underscore not available, blah, blah. So there, there was a lot of that stuff too. It's just a lot of things that could have been polished out this game has a ton of looting right but every time you loot something your character goes over it and picks it up which is fine but then if you're trying to loot a lot of stuff you have to keep moving your character off of the area clicking moving them away from the area and then go back and clicking there so because your character essentially covers the stuff in the background that you pick up um, one thing i do like though is every little character has little uh, voice line that's pretty cool and the music is pretty bangerish. i don't know if it's just some um, some stuff they grabbed from a website or if you know they actually had somebody uh, making it but it's not bad it, it kind of fits the thing that goes my outlook uh, noise right there but man i don't know i mean i don't know like it's just he fixed the game a little bit more <laughs> it's not the worst it is not the worst game and it is playable it is playable and you know I didn't play long enough for all of the monsters to come and attack us, but I did actually walk down myself and fight them a little bit. And it, it is what you would think from a base management thing. Um, you just equip your character, and you go down, you click a monster, and they just duke it out themselves. You can handle one or two on your own, but once it gets to more, you're going to want to not go melee. You're going to want to use a defense barrier, maybe a gun, so you just take zero damage, etc. Or have two people attack it at once, but enemies slowly go up the thing and go after you as days go by and every single time a day actually does cycle you unlock a skill point which out of, the, uh, out of all the characters you can go through a small skill tree they have and you can start to unlock recipes and perks you can unlock like new bats new guns or maybe you can lower your crafting speed and all that stuff so like i said this game has a lot of potential the the entry barrier is very annoying and if they fixed some of the organization things is that that was okay that was one of the biggest things it's too clunky it's just clunky all around and it's not intuitive but that's just my opinion of course uh let me know what you guys think of this game down below if you enjoy leave a like it helps a lot if you haven't already sub for daily videos yeah i really want to know what you guys think play it yourself or you know watch the gameplay thing and let me know thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time